No, Graham will uh, be relishing this. You know, he's a he's a real doggy character. He's he's always up for a challenge, Graham, and and he's played great this season. You know, and, you know, there's no sort of fancy words jazzing things up. He's not saying things you want to hear. What he says is what he genuinely believes, and uh, no, he knows he's good enough to beat Ronnie if he could get involved in this match. Graham, wily old character, you know, he, can, he can handle his own these safety battles, he won't be too worried about this. He knows he's on a par with Ronnie when it comes to the safety side of the game. And it was interesting that Alan McManus was telling us is how Sullivan gets a little bit of luck here. <laughs> Fluke snooker that was. Alan was saying that Graham Dot will not be looking at O'Sullivan when he's compiling breaks wants to reduce the intimidation factor, as it were. With Graham's been working closely this season with a coach called Chris Henry, who's very well regarded in the mm. game. And I think he's, one of his strengths is the mental side of it, and you can see the benefit it's given Graham this season already. He looks a different player, looks back to his best. So, first chance to Ronnie. What? Slip eight. past the red there, just one. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. Was it? Rain dot, seven. Little careless one. Oh, sausage fingers getting in the way there. Yes, the referee, Jan Shears, right on top of things. Thankfully for O'Sullivan, the foul shot just cost him four points, didn't leave anything on whatsoever. Again. Brown comes to Ronnie's rescue, but this time he's on top of it, not behind it. Foul. And a miss. Ronnie Sullivan, four. Nasty plays, and now what? Graham gets his first chance. Not a real good chance at the moment. Blue and pink sort of covering each other to the middles. They have to get on one into the corner. Black's covered up. There's no real obvious way of releasing it at the moment, so he'd like to get the pink back on its spot. Five. In a few shots' time. Six. Yeah, just a tricky little cannon here for Graham. Just want to push the pink to left middle. 13. That, that frees the pink now into bottom left corner. So a couple more tidy positional shots here and this could develop into a nice chance. 20. He didn't suffer many bounces of that nature. No, and that is surprising because the players so far, I've been talking to after the matches, have been saying how slow that cushion's bouncing. So, something to keep an eye on for the rest of the night. Yeah, just on a side note, I think we'll keep an eye on the uh, 32 cushions tonight. I think up to now, the other, all the other players that played in this table have been using the new, this magical chalk stuff, and we haven't had any big bounces yet. And uh, that's the first one we've had this week so far. And I know. Neither of these two players used the chalk, so just worth keeping a little eye on. Green dot, 32. Going to need a very precise positional shot from Ronnie here. What? The only actual open red is the one to the right of the black, but not easy to get on. Deserved so much more. I think this red cuts back, but 
like Phil says, you could have easily landed a lot nicer than that. Six. Looks a little bit short. Makes it to pull up, leave the brown. No, I think that's too close to take on. So just a little nestle in behind the brown now, but he's well back in this frame. Running the southern six. It was getting very close to the brown there to cut off the, the side cushion route. Graham's had to go bolt cushion first there, which makes this escape a little bit tougher. Oh, and a miss. Ronnie was sold on four. Once again, you see Ronnie's always very reluctant to just automatically put the cue ball back. He, he knows Graham has got the line, he'll probably hit it next time. So he'd rather play a telling safety and more chance of getting an opportunity off this one. I was about to say O'Sullivan's decision vindicated, but the cue ball in bulk, the red away from the pocket, don't all settle for that. <laughs> for this one, but it's, uh, this is very, very thin. Shot, nice shot for Graham here, shot to nothing. He'll play this, I think he'll try and land on a ball colour here. Yeah, nice shot. Needs to pull up. What? Oh, once again, just crept past the Browns. I think we'll see a similar shot from Graham. Graham got one. Yeah, he's uh, lost his way a little bit, Luca, but he'll get it back. Well, that tells you just how good Graham Snooker oh, was, because you very rarely Graham see Ronnie not be able to think of a shot, and he, he obviously couldn't find one, so it was a, a hit and hope. So, hit and hope, the only sort of safe place is the one above the black, if you can land on top of that, but you obviously don't think you can get there. Mm. Back to the first idea. Foul. No. No, not the outcome he wanted out of that. So seven. Good chance now for Grant to steal this first frame. All happened in a flash, that. He did make contact with the red first, but that's immaterial now. What? Six. That 2006 semi final at the Crucible when Dot won 17 11. That he was eight each with O'Sullivan, and then in the third session completed an 8 0 whitewash. But, but. Graham got seven. That could be very expensive. Yeah, yeah you can't afford to miss Blacks off the spot against anybody, but. You don't get many chances against those Sullivan. You really have got to be taking them. Are you disappointed with that, Graham? Nine. Yeah, that top cushion's pretty much everyone we've seen play so far out this week. Good chance for Ronnie and fourteen. You know, he's, he's probably he's probably one of the best in the game at clearing the balls up when he needs them. Just fifteen. Very easy. No frills. Just mops them all up very quickly. More than likely, this the crunch ball doesn't want to be too straight on it. 20. Needs to be precise now. Yeah, let's strike this one nice straight back. Should leave a nice angle on the black. Yeah. Twenty one. Lovely. Arrives on the colours, ten points adrift, so yellow to pink. Twenty eight. We'll do the job. Thirty. Well, True to his promise, Dot is not watching his opponent at the table. 33. Thirty-seven. Forty-two. 
You can hear the referee calling out the scores, though, and it's not a nice sound. 48. And neither and is that applause Sorry, because it signifies that O'Sullivan, after looking like losing the first frame, has won it. 1 0 ahead. Well done, O'Sullivan. What a pot, and look at the position. Pure. Yeah, no holding back with that one. It was all out when it two cushions into the black. It's not absolutely perfect here, but if this is straight enough, yeah, just push the cue all through. No. And now look, two shots later, and the ball is all down with mercy. To Graham Dot at the 16. moment, still eyes downcast looking 17. at the floor. I think he's got a, a piece of paper there as well on his lap. Maybe he's looking at some words that are written on the paper. Hmm. What do you think it says, Phil? Don't miss blacks off the spot. 24. <laughs> Wise words. Twenty-five. Another little soft screw into them three reds there. And then that really opens things up. There you go. Absolutely lovely. Perfectly played. Pink now released. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. It's one of them you always look forward to playing, Ronnie, because it is, you know, he is the, the pinnacle of our sport and it's, it's what you sort of set your sights on, but... It's, it's just the speed and the ease he does everything in. You know, you, you play, he hasn't played a bad shot there, Graham. He's just left the long red. And, you know, well, you just look at him and very rarely leaves himself anything missable because his cue ball control is so good. It's just easy part after easy part. To beat him at any time is, is a great achievement. And, but I, I've always liked playing Ronnie. Obviously, my record isn't great against him as no nine. one's is. But he's a nice person to play when he's not absolutely firing because the balls generally don't go scrappy. You know, he's always looking to play safety shots to bring the black into play and the pink into play. So when you do actually get a chance, the balls are there 56. to score. So it's, it's, it's always in your own hands, but you just don't get that many chances. 57. 63. 64. Seventy. Seventy one. So the break goes to seventy one. It's lasted just over four minutes. Seventy eight. Seventy nine. Eighty six. Eighty-seven. Ninety-three. Mm. Ninety-four. <laughs> One hundred and one. They love him, don't they? With every reason to. One hundred and two. This is 64th this season. Yeah, he's, he's just the one to be, and he all, all the time. His level six. very rarely dips. No fluke, but what a fantastic break from Ronnie O'Sullivan. A pure red from distance, 106, the scoreline now 2-0. If he wins tonight, he will have reached 
a ranking event quarter-final for the 111th time. Absolutely frightening numbers. I just noticed there, Phil Ronnie broke off right-handed, which is very rare. that first frame it's just so important and the way Graham lost it the pressure just builds the longer it goes on without winning it just makes the pressure bigger and bigger one slightly thin on this blue and have to hold it yeah straight away played on the awkward red one stop in the black to the left corner Six. Seven. Fourteen. I think Ronnie could have played for the red to the right of the black there, but chose not to. I think it's because he wants to screw into the pack 15. and leave himself on that red as an absolute banker when he hits the pack. Yeah, that's what Ronnie does. He very rarely mm. leaves anything to luck. Twenty-two. He always sort of knows he's going to be on one. Twenty-three. Thirty. Thirty-one. Might choose just to brush off these. Go up for the blue. Maybe release one or two more. Yep, there's another one just poked out. Thirty-nine. Forty-two. 43. 48. Going to need at least one of them reds in that cluster there. So I'll be looking for an angle very shortly. 49. That's not it. One more loose red and then you're going to need a cannon of some sort. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. What a valiant attempt that was. Sixty-two. Sullivan, 62. Great shot. First ball is potted for quite some time. Fantastic shot for Graham. You just see the determination in his face now. He knows this would be a mass massive clearance. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Get these two reds with blacks and leave an angle off the last black. Let's play a cannon that last red. Worst case, he's back in the frame with one red left. 24. 25. 32. Thirty-three. A little bit too straight, I think, to 
to push the red on. So. Well, he's done very well to get there. And just really power that black in and force the angle. And put this horrible shot he's faced with here. There's definitely a case for uh, turning this one down. So, so close, at least for the consolation prize of the, the red running back up the side cushion. Yeah, puff of the cheeks from Graham there. He thought that was in. I've got to be honest, I did too. Hit the red full ball off the top cushion and leave the white where the red is. Yeah, this, this bounces. Good snooker, but no. He didn't want that. Okay. I think he'll take that. Are you happy with that? It's a lovely shot from Graham. It's forced, a, it's forced a bit of an opening. Just doesn't want this to be dead straight. Anything but dead straight. And this is a golden chance. Oh, I didn't see that one, Phil. I think he played cushion first there. Yeah, very surprised he didn't take that on. Very surprised. Though Sullivan will be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, with the frame on the line, those can be missed. Graham get a bit of left hand side on this, he can hit this red and swing round the angles, push the red to side cushion. Oh, but don't hit the blue. Do not hit the blue. I know Sullivan won't be concerned that the blue and the green have gone together because he could be safe by then. One. And Dot would need multiple snookers. As it stands, he needs one. Eight. In times gone by, this kind of interaction would have frustrated O'Sullivan no end. These days, though, very stoic. Just gets on with it. Graham conceded. And in this case, Thanks, it's Ronnie the patience of Graham Dot that runs out. And so Ronnie O'Sullivan extends the lead. He's in command. Halfway to victory, in fact. For a while, I didn't believe he could possibly catch Stephen Hendry with 36 ranking titles. I believe it now. <laughs> He's already got 32. Well, you'd be surprised if he didn't then, wouldn't you, really? Here again, good shot. Graham is really competing in the safety, but... Oh, no. Commentator's curse, Phil. He's got to just steer that cue ball around that pack of reds. And if he can, land nicely on blue or pink.
He almost done it. Caught the what? last red, but it's not too bad. But I'm not sure. But I think the blue might come down onto the black spot, depending on how close that pink is, which would really help Graham if it does. Six. Seven. Not sure where the pink will spot once he's parted this. If it does spot, you might see him play into that area of reds where the pink spot is. Just to try and loosen it up a little bit. Oh, I think that's gone wrong. It's unlucky. I think he played the right shot there. I think that's a little bit unlucky. <coughs> yeah, I, I think there's there's definitely a place to say this is this is the best Ronnie's ever been. He's always had the game, but he's got everything now: temperament, the attitude, dedication. You know, they say forty's old, but he's as good as he's ever been. And he seems to be getting better as well, which is the worrying thing. I think Ronnie actually took that one on. That was, a, was, solid, you know, it was all about safety there. And played it very well. And let's play Graham plays cushion first here. I think he's sort of tempted him into taking this one on. Yeah, he might just be getting a little bit frustrated now, Graham. His lack of chances. One. Real good queuing shot coming up over Ronnie. Got to cue this one. Really get into the queue. We'll stun it across into that side cushion. He's just lost it a little bit, but Seven. still got red to middle. Eight. Struck that one, lovely. Recovered the situation. Similar sort of shot, but not use the cushion this time. Just stunning through the gap. Give himself choice of reds. And we're off again. 15. I think Ronnie's sort of forgot and thought the blue was going to go back on the black spot. 20. Oh, he managed to create an angle there, didn't he? That didn't look possible. I think that's our first kick of the week, Phil. And that was a monster. 21. Look at this. It misses the po pocket by a couple of inches. Straightened up violently. Yeah, that's one of them. You, you can't do nothing about that as a snooker player, you know. Yep, it's uh, frustrating times for Graham. Just banged his cue there as he went back. He knew that was a chance. And I think you're right, Phil. It's just sort of gone from bad to worse, really, since that first frame. He looked good first frame. One. Six. Eleven. Yeah, that was a Five. nice red to get on because that frees the pink up now into this right corner. Got this blue. Probably have to screw around off two cushions, I think. Or maybe just help play off just the one. Yeah, this is looking like another sort of routine mop up from Ronnie. Seventeen. 
18. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. It's pulled up a little bit short. This one's got to travel. No, just just got into the cue board a little bit too much. Thirty. It's still got a chance at this red. Running with Sullivan, 30. I'm not really a one for stats, Phil, but Graham's pot success is down at 72%. It's not a number you see very often in professional snooker, especially at this level. What? Sweeping struck by Ronnie, straight in the middle of the pocket. Lovely bit of cue in. Right, it's all one. And the entertainer turns hard match player. Dodds had enough. Foul. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. At the and interval, the Ronnie O'Sullivan in total command. He leads by four frames to zero. O'Sullivan breaking off right-handed, abandoning his long-held practice of breaking off left-handed. Graham Dot's modest ambition will be to avoid the whitewash. O'Sullivan has administered two on him this season, 5-0 in the China Championship and 4-0 in the Welsh Open. Foul. Front of Sullivan, four. Well, leaving the red was unfortunate. What? So Sullivan straight in round the black spot. Shall we give him this frame, Alan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of people no. would forgive you if you did. I think the fact that Ronnie doesn't play in all the tournaments in the circuit 16. I think it actually helps him. A week off here, here and there, and a few weeks at a time he doesn't play. 17. I just think it helps him mentally as much as anything. Yes, didn't play in Gibraltar, didn't play in Romania. I think he looks fresher all the time. 24. 25. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Yeah, back for pink or blue. No, I'm surprised he's playing now so he's playing for pink thought for a second he was going to play the now. wrong shot there <laughs> yeah as I say straight pink clears that area pink onto the brown spot easy red to follow forty five forty six I mean even that shot he's played that was poker straight if you're gonna screw back there and I mean said he can have the cue ball wherever you like with your hand that's exactly where he'd have put it looks like being in the break but he just takes frames and matches away from his opponents so quickly not just that he's that good he's that quick at doing it and again just keeping graham nice and familiar with that ball cushion best of 35 it was dot led 5-0 and the 
and I asked him a few years later whether when he was 5-0 in front he could see himself as world champion and he said no not at all if it had been first to six maybe yeah still, still a long way to go wasn't there yeah Ronnie for, for once he got away with one there well at least Graham spotted it he's not in a colour but Rambo. how do you find a way back into the match from this position Oh, what a shot this is. What a shot. Knew that he could only shave past the black to make the intended contact. Yeah, it's actually quite a nice shot. He's screwing it into cushions for the black, perhaps. You know, plain ball. It was a shot he'd oh. always fancy, playing it plain ball. <laughs> Within two or three shots, Graham having Ronnie tight in behind the brown, finds himself Brian's tight in behind the yellow. Extravagant shot selections. Foul. And a miss. This is relentless. Foul. Oh. And a miss. We so disappointed Foul. not to win the first frame. And a miss. He did also have a chance to snatch the third frame from behind. So Dame Fortune did not come to his rescue there with that escape. What? The cannon was unintended. Six. But it's too late to make any difference. Seven. Not with a red hanging over the left corner anyway. Thirteen. Fourteen. <laughs> well, the idea was to develop the black. His cue went through with such power that he dislodged the chalk from his waistcoat pocket. He fails to develop the three reds. Twenty. Ronnie was holding twenty. And a frame. But Graham Dot has no realistic alternative to remaining in his chair and conceding the frame. The Sullivan leads by five frames to nil. Graham Dot's modest ambition remains to avoid the whitewash. He really does look in prime form, not just for this match, but the rest of the week. Five. Six. Yeah, just thinking. Probably the only player on the main tour that doesn't carry a mini, but when you play shots like that, you don't have to. That was a beauty, again, but 11. just top class. 
12. You feel like he's enjoying it out there. That's the thing about it, isn't it? He's enjoying the challenge, the puzzle of it, that each frame sort of as it presents itself. He, just figuring out the best way to go about break building. 19. He looks hungry to play. Just trying to figure out the, the puzzle all the time here. Only five. Only six. Already be thinking. Play for the loose red here, straight. Straight on it, play for the black, get an angle. Land low on it, pot the red, bring the other reds into play. He's played for low on it. He just come too straight, so it's a low black 31. and screw into them. Very two. I want to bring the cue ball back towards him and onto the black cushion. And you see a kind of soft screw, unlock it. But played it well again, just plays every, seems to play every shot the correct way. It's not. Didn't have a pop on. So, was the only option. But now, with the pack of reds dispersed, you think that O'Sullivan's only got to get in once more and the match will be all over? Shot to nothing. You see, he got it thin. Fully aware that he can't afford to get it thick, and how's the result? Oh, I nearly got him again. It's just that decision making, every shot, safety shot to nothing he had there, anything but thick. I think Dot came here equipped to play well. It's only a few weeks since he reached the final of the German Masters. But he could have done with a different opponent tonight. Yeah, using green and brown. No, sorry, the other side. He's playing tonight safety-wise. He's just he's not leaving anything. Not even a shot to nothing. Again, this is a tough safety shot he's playing. Catch this absolutely perfect cue ball in between green and brown. Right. Slip past the other end of the brown, but he's using reds and green as blockers. Absolutely nailed again. <laughs> yeah, and Graham leaves the gap. Jan Shears called into action to clean the cue ball. I don't believe he's going to play this at full pace, just a medium pace. There you see it. What? Little cannon and you would be on the black. Once again, brilliant execution. Oh. The machine's broken down. Had to raise the butt of the cue to get the desired backspin, but he's been playing so well, you don't expect him to miss anything. What? A few months ago, Dot was in despair about his poor form, but Chris Henry, 16. very fine coach, sorted him out. 17. He discovered that Dot was hitting the cue ball slightly to the right of centre, plumb in the centre, and after hard work and repetitious practice, Dot came back to form and, as I said, won some very good matches to 
reached the German Masters final a few weeks ago. Yeah, and he won a match in that tournament, didn't he, against Zhao Gadong from 4 0 down, down he won 5 4. But this is obviously a different opposition this evening. 31. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, good choice. Good aggressive shot trying to 36. push the red open. Because he w would have been on this one no matter what. 37. How's his angle? Can he maybe play the same shot again? Just try and catch the pink foolish. No, he didn't play it. I think probably wisely. He pots this red. He's got quite a bit of control. 44. Forty-five. Decent angle on the black as well. Unlucky. Fifty-two. Needed to flick across the ping rather than strike it full. <coughs> Yeah, just looking at it again, he was never going to get an awful lot of pace into the cue ball. So I had to trust to luck. <laughs> Very good hit. Is it going to do him any good? 52. Dot's still in this frame, having got back into contention with that nicely compiled run of 52. And here's a free ball. Foul. And a miss. Three ball. Three ball. Black ball. Can't hit both edges of the last red. Can nominate any colour as an extra red. One. Six. Seven. Just brown and yellow. Taking past the post. Eleven. When O'Sullivan led five nil and forty nil, it looked odds on a whitewash. But O'Sullivan. Mr. Black off the spot. Dot made 20. 52 from that. He's done enough to get on the scoreboard. Dot avoids the whitewash, but O'Sullivan still leads by five frames to one. Right handed, but using the other side of the bunch to break off. Dot hangs his head in disappointment. Long half ball red, plain ball didn't have to do much. Would pop those more often than he would miss them. I don't know how many times Graham Dot's played a shot from the box cushion this evening, but it must be a lot. There's been a fair bit of safety play actually. Very high quality, most of it. Oh, 
the one. It's 5 2 to Robertson as I speak. Cracking sound that. Right clear. You catch a leather of the pocket like that. Looks good, sounds good. It's not been. Not been the sort of shot either player's been knocking in tonight. It's not been a match like that. Six. Just all round performance by O'Sullivan. He's been fabulous. Seven. Good developing. A very good chance this black going. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. He's always nice and fluent round the table, but twenty-three. I think tonight, as much as I've ever seen him before, he's studying every situation, every little positional shot. Busy round the table tonight, Ronnie. Thirty. So you're just figuring out the puzzle, the best way to go about it. Thirty-one. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. This looks like forty-four. The coup de grace. Don't expect O'Sullivan to allow Dot back to the 45. table. No, it's not good. <laughs> the 107 has rounded off his 6 2 win over Luca Brussel on table two. Dot comes to the table with a good chance, albeit 50 behind. One. Eight. Yeah, one good thing about this situation for Graham, if there is one, um, won't have any Nine. tension whatsoever in his body right now. Back to the wall, point of no return, virtually beaten already. His arm will feel loose as a goose out there. I'm sure he wasn't even expecting a chance in this frame. 16. When O'Sullivan got in with 50. 17. 24. Yes, they might just be able to push the other red a couple of inches into the table. They played it dead weight. He would have the problem of the red, which is on the black cushion. I think part of the modern game as well. These reds along the black cushion, you don't see many of them played these days. Players avoid them like the plague. 31. It's always, you know, the fact that no one plays them anymore, it's difficult to tell how, how sharp the pockets are. I mean, we know they're sharp, but to 32. what degree? Forty. Yeah, no, it looks like he's going to be nice and straight in this next red. Not a problem playing it with the rest. So he's guaranteed good position on a colour. So you'd expect him to get close to the red. Forty-five. Might not land nice on it, but you get close to it. Should be able to play a tell in safety. That's worst case scenario. 46. And you see it. Nice angle on the brown. The one thing he doesn't want is to land straight on it. 50. If you were going to say he's got a pot it, that's not a bad position, but this is a toughie. This will tell us a lot about the pockets this week.
No, never in. Graham Dot. Fifty. But at least he hasn't left a sitter for O'Sullivan. You fancy him putting it. All about possession. Well, well, it turned out that it was easier than it first appeared. So after an exchange of 50 breaks, O'Sullivan should clinch his victory Seven. at this visit. Nine. <coughs> Green, brown, blue needed. Twelve. Sixteen. Twenty-one. A top-notch performance then from Ronnie O'Sullivan, highlighted by a break of 106 in the second frame. Graham Dock never gave up, but it's O'Sullivan who goes through the winner by six frames to one.